All right, so today's video, we're watching a Diamond 4 tank on console. We're going to see some Winston Diva Rhine and Gibraltar, a map that people can struggle with sometimes. So they say, I am primarily a hog Winston player who has previously climbed a Masters 4 on tank. I've since dropped to what is essentially one whole rank below that, and it's become apparent that I need some form of support to see what is holding me back or to help me understand that climbing to Masters 4 was a fluke for the betterment of my own ego. In this game, I begin on an attack and essentially insta-lock Winston so that I can have some form of control over the high grounds and play around my bubble. I did the typical jump in bubble, jubble. I love how jubble's becoming a thing now. They literally put it in there. At first, I, as I largely expected them all to throw cooldowns at me as soon as I show my pretty gorilla face as it is typically the average tank experience. On second, I definitely made a ton of misplays and wrong calls. I feel like I just poked at them until my DPS clicked heads and did my best to pressure them out of good positions like ship. Third point was where we really struggled. They swapped Bastion or Mantra, my bubble suddenly meant nothing, and I likely should have swapped, but I was having fun for the most part on Monkey. I'll leave the defense side mostly as a surprise, as we were so split, I don't even know where to begin. I hope you have as much fun watching and reviewing this as I did losing my mind playing it. Wonderful. Okay, cool. Good start. We've all been there. I'm on, I'm, I, we've all missed that jump before. And by we all have, I have before, so if I say we all have, it makes me feel better. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, already with your bubble, the reason why this bubble is, like, absolutely pointless for you here is because, like, what do you, what, why? You you literally can go to your right, you can just fall down over here, like, there's cover. So, a little, start, little, little like, start for you here. The reason why I don't want to use your bubble right away is because it's such an important cooldown to try to get this high ground from the ash that you're just using it for yourself to sit up here. You want to hide, right? The idea is that like you use cover to survive. Now, I know you might be afraid of this angle, and rightfully so, but if you're afraid of that angle, just back up two feet, go here, hide. See? See how easy that is? All right, here we go. So yeah, that's what I'm just saying with your bubble. Just be careful of that. Because now you go in, right, and you, don't, you have a bubble in one second. So like, it's... That, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna, I don't even mind that initial bubble right there, just because, like, you're trying to, like, go for the ash, but, like, once again, bubbles are definitely your weakness so far. Um, even when I was playing Winston the other day, I was, I was jubbling a little bit too much. It's a hard habit to get out of, I feel like, but, like, it's definitely worth it when you do. How do... You know what amazes me? That interrupts res. I'll boop, like, a Mercy, like, 75 feet... They get the res off. You jump at a mercy, they go half an inch backwards, and then that's it. Oh, that's no res. No res for you. Like, okay. Wonderful. Take top left. That's the right idea. Remember, be quicker with that. I know there's a Reaper up there. You'll be fine. That bubble's okay. Only because, like, you're just trying to make the Reaper not have to do as much value. And now you can dive their backline. Good dive. Wonderful. Good start. Skill lamp. I Stay on point. Bubble, you're just using the, like, make sure they can't do damage on point. I'll let that one go. Use your ultimate if you need to. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've all been there. And but we that, that is something that happens to every Winston. You you go for someone and you just absolutely lose where they're at. Good start. Like I said, I, th I think your bubble usage is probably your number one issue so far. Uh, which is kind of normal. Good play. This isn't bad so far. I, I do want to see you get better with your setups. So, like, I know you want to go card here, and I know you see me go card a lot, but I want you off card now. I want you to set up now. I want you to, because, like, here, here's the reason why. The reason why setup is so important is because if you have to use a cooldown to go into them, right, and they see that, like, it, it's not going to be as good if, let's say, you go on high ground, already use that cooldown, and by the time they're at you, you can have a cooldown to disengage out to be more aggressive, but when you need to use it in front of them to get to your spot, it's a lot easier for them to follow up. So I'd rather see you already go up on high ground and be set up rather than do it now where you might jump into them and then get rolled. Uh, that's why setup is so important after team fights. If you're not the one pushing the cart or like have to be the one pushing the cart, this goes for any role. Go and set up. Take away map control. Don't wait for them to come to you, right? Like go set up. Make it harder for them. I, I, I talked about this a little bit yesterday during the uh, challenge we did. And a lot of it is, like, you need to get cooldowns out. So if you're up here, and, like, let's say you can just, like, zap them from up here. Maybe you get out, you know, a lamp. Maybe you get out a burst heal from BAP. Getting cooldowns out is a huge part of Overwatch, and it really leads to a lot of stuff. But if you let them kind of, like, get to where they want to, 
now you have to jump into them and they can have a better reaction. So that's why I want to see you set up a little bit more. Because now you jumped up there, right? But now you've already used your cooldown to get to that spot. You see? You jumped up here, Diva has a better reaction and you had to use your bubble. Right? Now you don't have a bubble on the map. Now you might you might be able to kill the map. But there you go. And you see? And that's what I was talking about. Do you, do you see why it's so important to set up? When you have that opportunity, go up there and set up. And then you can make plays a lot easier. And then you, it's a lot easier to also hold on to your cooldowns, to make better plays, to get them to use abilities early. Instead, you go up there, you don't kill the map because guess what? They used the burst tail. Remember how I said if you got the burst tail out earlier, it might be a good thing? Well, guess what? They used it. You couldn't get the kill. And now you're back to spawn. See? So remember, setup time is very important. Is basically what I'm getting at. Setting up can be very, very, very important. I'll give you that bubble. You're just trying to sell it, save your teammates. Wait in. Too worried about the Reaper. Why? No. No, 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 no. Listen, I, I, I know what you're trying to do. You hear the Reaper, you're trying to make a play. That's on your teammates. Just The best thing you can do there is communicate to them. Use the ping system. Like You don't even have to ping the Reaper if you don't see them. You can just hit the triple ping and hope your teammates react. Sometimes, like... It's not on you to go and peel for the Reaper. You're on Winston. Like, you can if it makes sense, but, like, it, you're not... You're turning around. It really feels like so far that your, your, your problem is, is that you're just not... Your target focus and, like, where you want to go is a little bit off. It's not even, like, a mechanical issue for you. Like, I'm, I'm seeing you make good plays. Like, I'm seeing you do something like that. That was wonderful, right? It just, that's what it feels like. Like, right there. These are the moments I'm loving out of you. Isolating targets. That was good. That was very good. But it's the other moments of like setting up and and knowing when to use your cooldown, where to peel at, which has been an issue. Because I don't mind this because they're gonna try to ult you. Yeah, no, good, good save by them. Good, good job. That was, that was well played there. I like that one. That was much better. Set up. Go set up. Go set up. Go set up. Go set up. That's not setting up. Okay. Yeah. 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 Go top left. I, I go. 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 No. Just. just, just okay. You, you did it a little bit late, but it, it, it worked out. I just want to see you set up, like, quick. Perfect. Now you're getting cooldowns out early. Back away a little bit. Go back up. Three, two, one. Go high. Go high. Go high ground. Go high ground. Oh, you're so lucky they didn't kill the bubble. It's happening again. This is why. Your timings are off. Just slightly. You said, like, you needed, like, an ego check. I don't even necessarily think it's an ego check. I think it's just a setup. I think it's just set up. This is very fixable. Set up more. Stop wasting your cooldowns. Like, sorry, let me rephrase that. You don't even really waste in your cooldowns much. You're just not setting up in time and going to get cooldowns out early on their team that they're able to use everything on you, right? People really underestimate how good it is to get a burst hill out of BAP, how good it is to get a, 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 a hinder out of Cassidy before anything happens. Get things out, right? Get things out before they engage your team. Not get cooldowns out when they start to engage your team. Okay? You hear about it a lot. It's really good to poke out a lot of what they're doing immediately. And this should, this should help you a lot. At least in my opinion, it should help you a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with this. Good. Now wait. Now, don't take poke damage. Don't take poke damage. You have the ability to... Yes, there we go. Even went for you, that's fine. You can drop down now safely. You don't have to use your jump. Don't go right back up right away because you don't have your armor right now. So that's the one time Diva can get you. You're really good against Diva right now, but it's when you have armor. So if you keep doing that, you're going to end up doing nothing. You see how you're just doing nothing over and over again? Yes, there we go. Stop going into the Diva. Play around him a little bit. And now look at that. They've had to use a cooldown to get to you. Perfect. Wonderful. Yes, this is fine. This is fine. Now you can go. You, you don't have to go in there yet. Much better. Much better rotation. I do think that jumping up on high ground 27 times in a row, like onto the top of the ship, wasn't the play. Okay, that is that is a bubble that you have used. I would I would recommend a little bit of a safer bubble there because you would want it here. You're gonna win the team fight and they're down in numbers, but you need to get out of the habit of doing it like that. But a little bit better. I I, I just want to point out like I want you to watch back how many times you jumped on that high ground for no reason. You could have made those plays quicker. It just you're a little bit slower to like the 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 reaction of what you want to do. I think you know I I think you know what you need to do and you eventually do it your time is just off by three or four seconds if you clean that up you're gonna climb straight up you clean that up you're gonna climb it's, it's a great time in base for you i'm okay with the bubble because of the bash
One of my favorite combos in the game is the the May uh, the May Winston ult combo. It's very very wonderful. Oh oh oh. Whew. I was getting concerned you weren't going to bubble that in case the Valken Mercy hit you for four damage. I was getting I was getting extremely worried there. You're, you're, you're not even juggling at this point. You're you're just throwing a cooldown now. You got to be careful there. Okay, so I'm going to pause now before anything happens. So you said you didn't want to switch off of Winston against their comp. Okay, is what it is, right? People are going to play one hero sometimes. They're going to play what they want to play. But here's the thing. It's understanding what you need to do against that comp, right? So what I think you might do, and maybe I'm wrong, is you're going to jump into them, right? You're going to jump into them. Mm -mm. You need to set up now, okay? So let me, give you, let me give you a play here. I'm going to give you a play that can very much work. Start here. Jump to here. First step. Now, this is where people lose a little bit of patience in how they're going to play this, and I, this is why I want to help you out a little bit on this one. Start here, okay? Now you're here. Why is this an important spot? One, they can't really sit here and do what they're doing. Now, two, you have two options. From this spot, you can go over here if they overextend to, like, pressure their bath, etc. Or you can go behind them jumping over the bridge. They're not to maintain the high ground control. So what this does is this peels them back to you, right? I talked a little bit about this yesterday during my... Um, we were doing that challenge on D.Va, right? You see how you've now opened up options? This is going to get them to turn. You, you, if you go in front of them over and over again, you're going to get rolled, right? They're just going to shred you over and over again. So while it takes two Winston jumps to get here, you have, it's not that long. So you want to go here. So start here, and then you have two options based off of how they go. Don't run in front of them. Do not run in front of them. A lot of players want you to just sit there and play like you're playing Reinhardt. So you're not playing Reinhardt. And honestly, if you're playing Reinhardt against that comp, you wouldn't have fun anyway. So remember that. Here, go here, either here, or their second, all right? Don't, don't, don't like go here and then jump up there because they can see you as easy, all right? Anyway, that's what I want to see you do. Now, if you do that, great. If you don't, then now you know. Let's see. I do not, do not jump into them, okay? I mean, you went to the left, but like, do not jump into them. Do, do not jump into them. Do not jump... You gotta kill. I can't believe it worked. Oh my. You gotta kill. I can't hate on that. They had a window and a bastion. I, I, I can't believe that even worked. But you know what? I'm, I'm gonna give it to you. At least you did it confidently. That I will not take away from you. And there it is. Okay. That See, that's what I... That's what I expected to happen when you jumped into them. That's, that's what I thought was gonna happen. I don't know why it took them that long. That's what I thought, but if it works, it works sometimes. I, I, I can't fault you for that, right? Like, if you do that, so. Hmm. Okay, this can work for now. Yep. You, you kind of made the right decision there. You, there's no win in here for you. You're going to get rolled. All right, well, I mean, I, I think we kind of explained that, so. It, it, it basically, I, I, I think you have, I, I already can tell your problem. Like I said, it's just timings for you and understanding where to go on the map. Remember, you don't need to sit there and just, like, you don't need to just sit there the whole time and try to jump into them. You know, go for flanks sometimes. It can really help. No need to rock it early like that. I, I do it sometimes. I'm just saying, like, it was a you, you rock it at a tracer. What was the final win loss? 30 and 2. I started off 24 and 0. And both games I lost were last team fight losses. It was so close. It was a good game, though. So far, I'm okay with some of the Diva stuff here. So I do like D.Va on this map. D.Va is my general, like, hero I'll start with. A little bit of um, a little bit of a helpful tip to people. If you don't know where to set up on, like, Winston or D.Va here. One thing you can do, by the way, and, and I want to point out, you need to be smooth, smooth with your movement on this, is you play here. Okay? 
And the reason why you play here is sometimes when you're up here, you struggle with getting value, but what you do is you stop the cart. And the reason why this is a safe spot for you is because you have angles here that are really good. And sometimes you'll see like a widow try to overextend to get a pick here and you can go for a kill. But you basically stay here, you block the cart, right? And then let's say they all go for you, you just, you just fly back or you jump back and you just play back with your team. But the, this is like if you ever need a default spot to go to just to play safe, you go here. But I do not want you to overextend here. I, I see people, um, and I don't see it as, you won't see it as much in like Diamond, Masters, like Top 500, but like you'll see it in like Bronze, Silver, Gold, etc. Where they'll play here and they'll just play here. Then they, they, they die here, they lose map control, and they just lose first point. I want you to specifically by yourself stay here if you're on one of the mobile heroes and then back away up here to survive. But it also stops cart and it also gives the opportunity for you to follow up and help with the limbs. So it's just for anybody on Gibraltar, if you need to know where to go and you're kind of lost on where to start, that's a safe spot. I don't do it all the time, but I do well, a lot. Of, I do it in top 500 sometimes and it's a great spot. So, okay. And you kind of did it here a little bit. So you can kind of see the value of it. Um, but yeah. You can do it a little bit smoother than that, too. Do I feel that I use DM too much? I'll watch a little bit more of it, yeah. I mean, so like, I mean, if I just went off of that specifically, then yes. I, I okay, I, I'll show you what they're doing. I'm, I'm gonna watch to see if they do it one more time. It's been okay now. They had a rough start to their DM usage, but it's actually not been too bad. Uh, I'm still watching for like, I'm, I'm, I'm watching for a mistake that some divas will make, but I'm not seeing it too much outside of the, the beginning. And even then, like, it's been pretty good. Hey, nice job there. Good reaction. Okay. Here we go. Good job taking high ground. Once again, I want to point out, do you notice when you like stayed static on the low ground there? That's all I'm talking about with timings. This is where I think you'll improve a ton if you just have your timings. There's three to four seconds where you don't know what to do. That's what you need to clean up. Just letting you know. Cause like the Zarya goes up there and is able to get map control from you. Just like that. And like you could have been there, you know, forcing out one bubble earlier doing plays like that in general. You know what I mean? So it's always interesting to me that like, has chat seen this before too? And what I'm, what I mean by this, has chat seen the, the part where like, I'm trying to think of a way to explain it, where it looks like you're supposed to, why does, why does some things, is a Yariel not cleansable sometimes? I feel like I'll see like Kirikos or like Life Weavers pull somebody or, and then like, it just doesn't cleanse. It's like, doesn't it feel, why? It feels off sometimes. I don't, I don't know what it is about it. It like, it, it feels like, no, no, I know it doesn't cleanse on that one, but I'm talking about, I was thinking more of like Kiriko on that one. Sorry, you're right. No, I'm bad. I don't even know why I brought up Life Weaver, but I see it with, Life Weaver doesn't cleanse, uh, excuse me, on that one. Um, but with like a Kiriko, I'll see Kiriko like throw a, a cleanse on the floor and then somehow someone doesn't get cleansed, but they're all on top of each other. Like I've seen it happen with Suzu a ton. Like it, it feels like it just doesn't like get rid of it sometimes, even though I'll watch it. Like I'll, I'll, like, I'll be in front of me and I'll see four people, they'll throw a cleanse on him and then one person, it stays on him just like, how? But they're like all on top of each other. Am I playing too much of the dev patch? What are you saying? Like, uh, um, like preview servers? I don't do those anymore. I, I can't remember the last time we had a server like that. You know how we used to like be able to like record content? I think it's been... When did all that stuff randomly get leaked that one time? Basically, once all that stuff leaked, that was it. Okay, back to D.Va. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, but people like people think that's Swayze. That's Swayze. That's the thing. Nice pick. A cure for all the tales. All right. Remember high ground? Uh, Nico, thanks for the five dollar um super chat. Thank you. Uh, my voice. I mean, that time. Yeah. Medium. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Sorry, Chad. I was just talking about it. Um, 
Good ult. I like that ultimate. Even though you didn't get anybody with that, I like what you do. So I want to show people why I like that ultimate. People are like, what do you mean to get a limbs? And, I, and this is something that I think is important to tell people because like as you climb, you're going to lose value in your ult. Straight up. I, you hear me joke about it sometimes, but here's, a, here's like a truth about like the D.Va ult thing is... Or sorry, the joke I make is that I feel like I need like 25 college degrees just to be able to get an ultimate kill in top 500. Um, so as you climb, this type of play is going to get better and like you're going to get less limbs. So the reason why I like that ultimate is because what you did is you, you ulted in, right? And what happened is because they were back here, they had to back up. But like, look over here. The Zarya was out of position. Now, in theory, your team should have taken advantage of killing the Zarya here, right? Nobody's really like looking except for the May. Cassidy's just kind of vibing, right? But like, do you see how you've split their team? Sometimes this is the best ult you can get, where you split their team to the point where like somebody gets isolated. So the reason why I like that ult is because you ult pass, they fall back, and now you have Azari here, right? Now you're going to be like, oh, if the Lifeweaver pulls him back, that's fine. Now you've got Lifeweaver pull out, a very long and important cooldown to get out. So sometimes Overwatch becomes less about the limbs at that point and like value with your ultimate from an limb standpoint to what can you do to like isolate somebody into a 1v1 and then get the limb or like a, a 5v1 because you're going to have that opportunity. So that's why it was really good right there, right? That's what I liked about that one. Okay? Counter grab incoming. I mean, I could be a good mail. Overextension, 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 overextension. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna pause right now. There's this thing where I always tell people slow it down a bit, and I do this sometimes too. This is why I knew right away was gonna happen. They have a fully charged Zarya. Now, while I say you can play against Zarya as Diva, a lot of people counter swap. Fully charged Zarya and server control. So what you want to do after you get the kill is fall back for a second and play around the map here. Right? Make it difficult to them. You don't know the Sombers up here, so I'm not going to fault you for not going for them. But just go up here and play angles. This gives you time. It gives your supports time. You go, well, what if the Zarya gets map control? This has so much time. Your Ana is about to have nano. Why go in and feed your suit? I know why you did it, because I do it sometimes too, where like, you're just like feeling it. You're like, okay, I got the kill. Let's go in. Get the kill. Back away for a second, play it a little bit slower, and now guess what? You're going to have a nano, you can go in, you can make a play. So that, that's where, like, it's a lot of where you're kind of stuck at right now and why you probably, like, deranked a little bit. I don't think it's because of mechanical skill, so that's good news. It's your decision-making is just a few seconds off or you're too quick to make that decision, right? But I also want you to make plays like this because that's how you learn not to do those plays. The more that you try to be a playmaker the more you understand the timings of being a playmaker. You don't need to always be a playmaker, but you can understand timings better. And that's why it's important to make these plays. I'm always more in the mindset of make a play, try to make a play, learn from that play. Was it good? Was it bad? That was a bad play, but you learn from it. And now you know in, in the future to back up. All right? After those type of kills. Of course, it could be different calls. Your teammates can call they're all low when you go in, but I just want to point that out. So... Reinhardt. Um, I know why they made the Rein swap, chat. Because they have a Zarya. Ryan's good against Zarya. So I, I don't like second point Gibraltar Ryan. I like third point, but it, Ryan's good against Zarya. You just block off all their damage. What rank? Let's go. Mm. Here we go. Oh, not bad. A little bit too aggressive right there. Can you see why I was very surprised by the Reinhardt on second point? You see that? Why I was surprised by the Reinhardt on second point? I just don't like Ryan in there. I, I, I would have preferred Winston, honestly. I think Winston would have been a better swap for you. He got rolled. He got snowballed. Reason, okay, also, reason why snowballs happen like that is because there's overtime spawns. So what happened is because you had overtime spawns going into second point, you actually lost a lot of time to get back onto the point, and then they snowball you. Snowball, and you'll hear me talk about it all the time, is basically where you never recover from, like, a, a team fight, and then keep winning team fights over and over again, and you can never come back as five. That's what happened. And that's why I didn't really like the Ryan swap, because you're not going to lose a lot of value. So hero selection was really key in that one, in my, in my opinion. I don't mind Ryan in third, by the way. Ryan in third makes more sense because of like the way the map is designed here. It's like it's like more like what you would like play like King Throw second. I do like Ryan in this part. Oh 
Oh, big slam alert! That's on you. Why, why'd you not shield up for your Reaper? That, like... Okay, I, I want to I give people a little bit of advice here. So, that was a situation where you thought nobody was in the grav. It's safer to put your shield up during the grav, even if you're nanoed, rather than to put it down. Your Reaper ended up getting killed because of that. So, I want um, next time for you to hold your shield up the whole time. Once again, decision making. All right. Decision making. Record ball to get back to point. I'm okay with that. I mean, that's just part of the game. Yeah, you got rolled. All right. Um, I don't really, I can't really comment too much on the on the gameplay at the end because it's just kind of how that is at the end when you're trying to run back to point. So here's what I'll say if this is helpful. I, I really think that like you said, you needed like an ego check a little bit. I, I the reason why you're just not climbing isn't because of your mechanical. It really just comes down to like your decision making. So you just need to get better at processing like after a team fight. It very much feels like two things happen after a team fight. You don't know where to go and you wait too long to get to your next spot. And then number two, when you do get on the limb or make a good play, you don't know what to do after. So you gotta just Get in the limb and then like slow down for a second. After you finish a team fight, get aggressive, like to a different spot, and then like set up. I really think that's gonna be your issue. And hero selection, of course, like second point Reinhardt, like, go Winston. It's more of a, a mobile based map at that point. I, I think that's gonna be your better play. Um, but yeah, I, I think there's a lot of different variations of stuff. So just be careful of that, and I think you'll start to see um you'll start to see improvement. I I don't think you're if you want to know, like, are you bad and, like, you shouldn't climb? No. I, I really do think you'll be able to climb. But I, I think there's definitely some things you can work on that will help you climb and become a better player. And that's how I see it, okay? So, you definitely can do this. Work on, like, processing that information and just being, like, better at taking map control. Understanding map control. Don't be afraid to go on flanks as Winston. Plays like that. And you'll, you'll start to see a steady climb. I, I don't think it's a mechanical issue or, like, you're a bad issue. I think you just need to... Fix that up a little bit. You got this. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to all three YouTubes if you haven't, leave a comment. All of that helps. If you want to submit your own spectating or anything, my Discord is in the description below. That's where you would do that. We also record these live on stream. You can see the Twitch app, the webcam, live on YouTube, sometimes TikTok, so stop by. If you haven't, we have a lot of fun here. With that being said, I hope you have an amazing day slash night.